Hello, dear friends. It's Poet WP here again. You know, we live in the craziest of times. If you'd asked any of us ten years ago, five years ago, hell, even three years ago, that this would be like what our reality would be like, like if it would be like this right now, you know, if you're even paying attention, if you're even halfway watching the news and don't have your head up your ass, if you asked anybody that things would be the way they are now, like like this, it, they if, they would say no way. If you told them, like if you showed them clips of the news and all the things that are going on now, that they would think there's no way that that is reality. They'd they'd be so astonished that they, they, they would they wouldn't believe it. We live in unbelievable times, and uh, the reason for that is. The great dark age is an exit. And the age that's going to manifest heaven on earth is just beginning to dawn. And as I meditate with all these energies and do my thing, if you will, study, 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 meditate, meditate, reflect, and write, I, um, I struggle myself, you know, uh, balancing the energies, drawing out harmony when the world is just on fire with madness. It's a tricky path to walk. And in doing so, you end up inevitably full of uh, righteous indignation, moral outrage. And you have to uh you have to temper that uh with wisdom and you have to with faith absolute faith. And it's a tough road to walk. So some days I write cathartic things. Sometimes my moral outrage and righteous indignation demand the form of a poem. <clears throat> and that's the healthy way to deal with these feelings. That's what we should all do when we feel these feelings. Do something creative. Write something. Paint something. Figure, do, sculpt something. Carve, carve a stick into a... Do whatever you want to do. Channel it creatively. Um. Anyway, so yeah, now I'm kind of conflicted. I'm like, you know, I got these kind of cathartic, frustrated poems, but right now I, I feel like it's all got to be positivity, baby. It's just yeah, I, I feel like I just need to share, save those those uh, sort of angry, frustrated poems about society and all that. I feel like that now's not the time for those, you know. But once in a while, just like for my own sanity, I got to release one, you know. Just because people need to wake up because this is not the way it's supposed to be. This is fucking insane. But anyway, maybe I'll share a couple more cathartic poems later. But right now, I'm going to share a uplifting poem. Which is what everyone needs right now. <laughs> I wrote this, I don't know, a couple days ago. This is copyrighted under my pen name, pseudonym, Gabriel Samadhi. I was really trying to figure out what to name this. I, like, juggled about five different names. I finally settled on <clears throat> Escaping the Reactionary. <clears throat> Two opposing axes drawn from the same sphere, aligned to do battle, not knowing they are of the same sacred hoop must they be repeating this meaningless these meaningless it's supposed to be these must they be repeating these meaningless cycles for all eternity no of course not the way has emerged and it will be taken up effortlessly and merge unaware into our consciousness a holy afterthought most will not quite 
be able to grasp it fully, but it will affect them in harmonious and peaceful ways that they will welcome and find great ease from. But few will ponder the great shift, uh, which could be characterized as the awakening of the masses into a more responsible and considerate way of being. We have to form our new way forward in compassion and conservation. We gotta save the earth. We got a small window of opportunity before it's we're past the point of no return and we're all doomed. At least the earth will. Now the earth won't be doomed, but we will be. It's like Court Carlin said, the earth will be fine. The people are fucked. Earth's going to shake us off like a bad case of fleas. That's George Carlin. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be. we got about ten years. Just listen to the climate scientists. Polar ice caps. If we don't get, if we don't stop this, like, toot sweet, we're going to be up shit creek without a paddle. So, you know, maybe these... Evil politicians want to crawl in their fucking bunkers and wait for, you know, the new, you know, Earth to heal. Uh, that's stupid. We gotta save the planet. We gotta be more compassionate towards each other. And stop all the goddamn wars. Just stop going to the wars. Stop showing up. If you stop showing up, they won't have anybody to fight the fucking things. Anyway, I'm off on another tangent. I feel, <laughs> I got all angry, I was trying not to get angry. In the middle of it, I just 